guys, the end of week three, coming up on the beginning of week four. Let's kick it off with a little photo op. There it is, making some progress. Today is Monday, the beginning of week four, and what I'm gonna be doing this week is being a little more intentional in terms of drinking more water. That should make a difference, so good things to be looking forward to, I'm thinking, by this time next week. As far as our Loose Cannon Fitness demo, we're gonna take a look at decline push-ups. Here we go. And one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, that's three. One, two. All right, now as far as this week's commentary, what I wanted to do was build on what we started last week. How do you know that Jesus Christ died and came back to life? Last week we talked about how it booms. A lot of people, while they might be willing to die for something they believe in, very few, if any, are going to give their lives for something they know to be a lie. And you see that with the disciples. Initially, just a bunch of cowards hiding out in the upper room, then suddenly transformed into this collection of witnesses that would not shut up even when they were threatened with their own lives and all of them died a martyr's death to save one. That doesn't happen unless you believe that what you saw was in fact true. So from that standpoint, I'm thinking pretty compelling. This week we're talking about how it fits. The resurrection of Christ allows life to make sense where otherwise it would just be a series of unanswered questions. And by questions, I'm talking about the four questions that we answer every day in the way we live our lives. Where did I come from? Where am I going when I die? How am I supposed to behave while I'm here? And what's the point of my existence? Or origin, destiny, morality, and purpose. It fits from the standpoint of you're never gonna convince me that the precision of the universe is something that's just happened by accident. That's not gonna happen. And then in terms of destiny, my father spent an entire year in the hospital and there were days where we really wondered if today wasn't the day he was gonna be breathing his last. There was one time I was visiting him, I had his hand up on my forehead and I'm just bawling because I know that I'm getting ready to lose my dad. And my father said, hey son, don't worry about it. We're gonna have all kinds of time. On his floor, you had several people whose situation was just right there on a razor's edge in terms of they could cease to breathe within the next few hours. It really was that touch and go. And the thing about my father's disposition that was distinctive is that he had some peace. He had a confidence about what was gonna happen when he breathed his last. These other people, not so much, either bitter or terrified. This is a peace that passes understanding that you cannot explain by anything other than the truth and the substance of God's word. So from that perspective, man, it fits. This is Bruce Gus with Muscular Christianity. We'll see you next week.